Hello and welcome to the New Tech Navigators. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create this e-commerce dashboard in Google Sheets. As you are seeing my screen, we have created this e-commerce dashboard in Google Sheets. And here we are showing the total orders, total revenue, average order value. And this is total unit sold. And here we have the profit margin. We have created some other charts also like unit ordered by the product category total order by monthly trend and total order by the product category shipping status distribution here like how many cancelled pending and shipped delivered and delivery days by region this is the average delivery days this is total revenue by the region and here we have the total revenue by the payment method here we have the COD versus online payment performance and here we have the average customer rating by product category this is profit margin by the month now let me show you some other pages also we have a search page also wherein you can quickly search your data and it will show you the search record like we have searched the data for the south region so here we are showing the 97 records in our data you can search using this column this drop down and you can select a column so let's say i want to search by the product category so as i select the product category i can just type here like i want to search for the toys so just type here toys so you can see it is returning all for toys or you can select any other like i want to see the return product so let's select here shipping status and just type here return so here you, we can see the return or the payment method let's say i want to select the payment method by upi so this is all payment method by upi here you can see the number of the cards okay then here we have the data and in the data we have the order id customer name product category order date region unit ordered and unit price payment method shipping status customer rating so we are taking the customer rating also like uh, one to five and here we have the order value this is the product name and here we have the delivery days and return status yes or no and the payment type like it is cash on delivery or online and then we have the profit margin here and we have created month here so this is the data you just need to input your data in this format and the whole dashboard will be created automatically now let me show you how we have created this dashboard so first let me come to the support sheet here what we have done we have taken these five columns total order total revenue average order value total unit sold and profit margin and we are showing here the count a uh, because it, this is the total order so every line is uh, an order here you can see because we have the order id so what we have done we just have taken here count a function for the total revenue we just have taken the sum of column k so here let me show you the column k is the order value okay so this is total revenue average order value is the again the average of column k so it is taking the average order value so the same here we are taking the sum and here we are taking the average total unit sold is the sum of column f this column unit order and then here we have the profit margin so profit margin we have a separate column for the profit margin that is here column p and we are just taking the sum of that okay so we have created this support sheet this support sheet we have created to create this type of cards okay so what you can do once this is created you can simply select let's say total ordered and you can insert a chart here and automatically it will create that card if it is not then you can just change the chart type from here and you can take the scorecard chart and then you can do the customization like you can change the key value align the center and you can change the font size around 24 or you can take the 36 and similarly you can just change the baseline we don't have the baseline value you can change the chart title like total order align this center and the font size you can take around 14 and then you can make this smaller okay, like this so that is how we have created this here and we have created the other cards also you can create the charts also using this data so we have created the chart like let me insert one chart here 
and then let's say I want to create the chart unit ordered by the product category so what you can do just select this double click here and then you can go to the setup and just click here so you can select the product category in the data that is available column C just select the column C and add another range and we want to show the unit ordered so just select this one also click on ok now here we can see this chart is created but we have to change the chart type we want to take the bar chart okay then you can just click on this aggregate and use row 1 as headers then go to the customize chart style and just make it 3d and you can come to the series and you can change the color whichever you want let's say i'm taking this color then you can just select this data labels so it will show the data labels then you can come down and you can just select the or just come here chart and access title and just type unit ordered by product category so that is how we have created then you can align this center and size around 14 text color you can take black okay so similarly here we have created and you can change the size of the chart also in the back end what we have done we have just taken a shape and that shape we have taken from the powerpoint so what you can do you can just create a shape in the microsoft powerpoint let me take here one blank powerpoint take the blank layout and here you can just insert a rectangle this one or this one and just drag this rectangle here and pick this yellow handle move to the left hand side you can fill the white color here and the shape outline you can choose whichever you want let's say i'm taking this green color for example then copy this and come to your google sheet and you can paste that here and then you can resize it as you want all right so this shape is ready now you can just place your chart inside this shape so just pick the chart and just place this here okay and then after placing this chart you can just double click go to the customize chart style and just take the chart border as none and chart background as none now this chart will look like the part of that shape similarly here we have created the other shapes and the other charts also all right now let me show you the search sheet also in the search sheet what we have done here we have put the total record and we just applied the count a function in this range till the end so whatever records will appear here it will show the count of that for this one what we have done we just have created a drop down just right click let's say here i want to create right click and go to the drop down and then you can just select it from the range so drop down from a range and here you can select the range that range you can select this one and just click on ok so we can see here all the field name as it is and then you can just come here go to the advanced option and just select here arrow so that is how we have created this now i can select the column name right similarly we have created this drop down here then we have put the free text here as text so whatever column you select accordingly you can put the search text here and it will show the search data now let me show you this formula also how it is working so what we have done we have just used the filter function then filter the range we are taking from the data sheet and then we have used here is error and we are searching the value available in m3 which is the search keyword and then we have used the choose calls function so what we are doing in our selection so whatever is the selection is this one in this range we are using the match function from the selected column so that it will take the relevant range of the column let me show you this function separately how it is working so what it is doing let's say here i am putting this formula so it is returning whatever and this will return the whole value not the search okay so we have selected payment method it is returning the payment method if i select here region then it is returning the region you can see okay so basically it will return the column whatever we have selected here okay then inside that column we are searching this text and if we are finding that that is not an error then it will return the filter data so that is how we are returning the search text okay so if i select here payment method automatically it is returning for the upi you can see all right in the data we just have formatted and we have applied the freeze fence from the view freeze and row number to up to row 2 okay
so that's how we have created this e-commerce dashboard in google sheets all right friends friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching